Steve McJunkin splits the pair. We are underway, ball in the air, tap controlled by who? Tip, 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 and the Purple Eagles eventually win it. Niagara will have it first going left to right. 2-3, a little bit of an extended zone by Iona. Ricky McGill really out high on the right wing. Right wing pass. Now they throw it in the block. Here's Dominic Rob going to work on it. Idoji, his pass blocked right back to him. Now Marr from the corner, a three off the rim, no good. Weak side rebound, Matt Scott put back, yes! Now the Purple Eagles are in flight courtesy of Matt Scott. Little six-foot jumper from the wing. The ball knocked out of bounds, and it will be Iona ball. Well, just like that, Iona did get it and go out of the hoop. 30 seconds in, Niagara leads it 2 to nothing. E.J. Crawford inbound right in front of the Purple Eagles bench. Gives it to Ricky McGill. Dribble handoff. Crawford, chest pass much. Touch pass now. Zach Lewis on the baseline. Shot on the way. No good, but he draws the foul on Niagara is Khalil Dukes. Well, for Khalil, that is his first game's first. Well, Zach Lewis now at his third higher education institution. Started at Canisius, went to UMass. Now he's a grad student in New Rochelle. Free throw on the way is no good. Zach Lewis, 7 for 12 on the season, right about 60%. Niagara leading it 2-0. Good crowd still making their way inside the Gallagher Center here tonight. Second free throw. That one is a round and out no good. So he missed them both. Rebound Matt Scott. Outlet Dukes. Here's Khalil into the front court. Little hesitation move. Floater on the way. Good. Iona didn't stop the basketball, and Khalil Dukes, he knows what to do. Right in the lane, the teardrop is good. 4-0 Niagara. Here is Zach Lewis with it. Left wing pass McGill. Niagara going man-to-man. Lewis on the catch. Right elbow slams on the brakes. Now with Doji. Size mismatch there, but they'll kick it in the corner. Now up top, Crawford. 12 to shoot. Right wing again, Zach Lewis. Chest pass up top, Crawford. Shot clock at 8. They shown much with it now. Swinging around the perimeter. McGill slams on the brakes. Two-pointer on the way. That one no good. Tapped up. That missed. Rebound Matt Scott. A lid on the bucket to our left for Iona in the early going. Khalif Tate with it now. Plays catch with Marv. Here's a three on the way by Leaf. That one no good. Rebound. Adoji. Adoji outlet to McGill. Here comes Iona over the timeline. Ricky McGill. Lob pass underneath. That one knocked away. Adoji's got it off the glass. Goes back up and lays it in. TK Adoji, after about a minute and 40 seconds, gets Iona on the board. 4-2 Niagara. Tate now up top. Matt Scott's got it. Right wing pass. Prochet, ball fake in the corner. Keeps it now. Now we'll go to Matt. Right at the free throw line. He'll dribble out of harm's way. Zach Lewis right in his bread basket. Now we'll step back. A deep three on the way. That one no good. Rebound much. I'll let Ricky McGill. Right up the floor comes Zach Lewis. Fakes a three. Jab step. Not getting any ground from Matt Scott. So it comes to Deshaun Much. Much now to Crawford. E.J. Crawford takes Khalif in the paint up and under move. Nope, had that path blocked, so up top it goes to Much. Much crossover dribble to the bucket. Shot in the way, no, but a blocking foul. I believe this is going to go on Dominic Robb, and it is. For Dom, that is his first. Both fouls in the game have been assessed to the Purple Eagles. So Rochester native Deshaun Much will go to the line. Preseason All-Mac second team selection is the Rochester native. Taking his time at the line. Free throw now, airborne is good. 75% to the minute from the stripe for much. He's 15 of 20. 4 to 3 our score. Now the release and it's good. So Iona, the top free throw shooting team in the conference, now two for four. Full court pressure by the Gales, broken easily by the Purple Eagles. And now we have a whistle and a turnover as Niagara has whistled Khalil Dukes for the carry. And that pressure break was easy for Khalil. He thought he was going to have to unload the extra pass to break the pressure, but he had so much real estate in front of him, he... Turned it over while putting it on the deck. Here's E.J. Crawford with it behind the back. Flips it now to Lewis. Zach Lewis goes right wing. Picked up by Matt Scott. Got knocked away, then stolen by Tate. Here comes Khalif Tate into the front court. Weaving in and out of traffic. Now to Dukes. Khalil slams on the brakes. Eight-footer on the way. That one no good. Rebound to Doji. Doji puts it on the deck. Into the front court he comes. Looking for a guard. He finds McGill. 4-4 the score. 17-07 left first half. E.J. Crawford, little floater on the way off. Glass, that one no good. Rebound Dukes. Niagara looking to run. 
Khalil with the basketball, behind the back, pass into the paint, Dom layup on the way, no good, but a foul. TK Adoji whistled for the foul as Dom went for the emphatic two-hand finish. He may have found himself a little bit too far from the bucket to slam that one through. First foul of the game on Iona. For Adoji, that is his first, of course. So back to the strike for Dom. Free throw on the way. That one is no good. It was on line, but clanked it off the rim. Dom just 50% now, 14 of 28. He had hit three of his last four up till that opportunity, so try to start another good, successful run. Free throw on the way. That one is no good. He left that one short. First one too strong. Second one too short. Well, the next one should be just right. Here's McGill with it. Bottled up by Tate. Good defense. Pass now to Crawford. Still tied at four apiece. Lewis now to McGill. Ricky McGill puts it on the deck. Back pass to Deshaun Much. With a head of steam. Crossover dribble on Matt. Now he gives it to Lewis. He'll hoist a three. Swish. Zach Lewis knocks down his first shot. And it's seven in a row by Iona after the Purple Eagles had scored the game's first four points. Right wing Dukes up top Tate. Khalif Tate, the freshman from D.C. Crossover dribble. He'll step back. A two-pointer on the way. No good. Left it short. Rebound, Matt. Fadeaway jumper. Left elbow. That one no good. Rebound, E.J. Crawford. Purple Eagles cold in the early going. Crawford now to Much. Much. Jab step. Couldn't get any ground from Matt, so he flips it to Crawford. E.J. Crawford. Crossover dribble. Going to take Tate down low. Shot off glass. Good. E.J. Crawford, the fourth Iona Gale to score. Nine in a row by the Maroon in goal. 9-4 9-4 to four the score. Right wing Matt has it. Lob pass up top. Prochet. Now to Dukes. Left wing. Crossover dribble. Here goes Khalil. To the basket. Shot is good. Nice move there by Khalil. Again, a little eight-footer from inside the paint. And with 15.42 and the ball rolling away, I think we're going to go right to the media timeout, and in fact we are. 15.42 left. First half, 9-6. to six. Iona out in front. From VWSC, this is Purple Eagles basketball right here on the Niagara Sports Network. <clears throat> um, DT, what time's the women's game tomorrow? Three? Okay. New York and Southern Ontario on the radio side, AM 1400, 3WS. And our television audience tuned in on LCTV. To learn more about all of your media options, go to purpleeagles.com. Well, a big weekend here, not just of men's games, but Jada Pierce's club will be in action tomorrow afternoon at 3 o'clock. They will take on Iona's women's team. So the Iona College Gales women's team just made their way into the Gallagher Center. 9-6, Iona leading it. Here's a pass to Much. Into the paint, Adoji, his shot. Swatted away from behind by Dominic Robb. Outlet to Dukes. Pass in the paint. Here's Prochet with it. Now in the corner, Matt. Matt's got back pass to Marv. Had a three, didn't take it. Free throw line to Dom. Fakes the shot. Takes Adoji down low. Spins, right hand hook, good. Well, Dom brought out all the moves there. 9-8, Niagara within one. Zach Lewis open, his three on the way, off the rim, no good. Rebound battled for, and Matt Scott picks it up on a tip from Prochet. Here comes Matt into the front court, gets cut off by Lewis, flips the pass to Prochet, now a touch pass to Dukes. Up top, Khalif Tate has it. All 10 starters still in the game. Tate takes it right at Idoji, his shot, no good, missed it. Rebound tapped out to Ricky McGill. Here he comes, whip it across the floor. Deshaun Much with a catch in traffic. Nearly stolen by Prochet, now up top to McGill it comes. McGill, free throw line to E.J. Crawford. He'll pull up, left-hand jumper on the way. That one no good. Rebound tapped out to Prochet. He'll leave it for Matt Scott. Niagara looking to run. Purple Eagles, four for 11. Layup on the way. Good by Matt Scott. Count the bucket. He will go to the line in search of the old-fashioned three-point play. Matt Scott has put Niagara in front. 10-9 to nine the score. Iona will go to the bench. Jan Svonderlich has checked in. Cedric Kazmir as well. And Roland Griffin. So Iona has gone eight deep. Purple Eagles going with the starting five to this point. Matt Scott's free throw on the way is good. Five in the game for Matt. Game high honors for Matt Scott. He is now 89 for 123 from the stripe. That is a ton of free throws. Kevin Larkin will be the first Purple Eagle in off the bench. He's at the scorer's table. 
Play underway, here's Griffin, he traveled. Well, a shuffle of the feet there for Roland Griffin after just checking in. Substitution for Niagara, Kevin Larkin will come in, and Khalif Tate will head to the sideline. For Larkin, the redshirt junior from Georgetown, Delaware. He's been a good spark off the bench. Just about four points and two rebounds a game for Kev. Khalil Dukes with it now into the front court. Left wing Larkin. Chest pass up top. Dukes holds it over his head now to Prochet. Left elbow. Marvel pull up. Shot in the way. Swish. Oh, well, Marvel is all by his lonesome and easily shot that one over the much shorter Kazmir. And Niagara now leading it 13 to 9. This has been a game of runs. Here's Griffin, fakes the three, takes it down low. Floater on the way over Dom. That one no good. Rebound battled for Temp once, twice. Loose on the baseline, and Svanderlich has it for Iona. Bounce pass kicked out of bounds by Marvin Prochet. 13-9 to nine the score. Purple Eagles have scored five in a row. Iona at one point ran off nine in a row. Greg King will check in. Dominic Robb will get his first rest. Greg King, another player that's done well lately for the Purple Eagles, all factoring in in this three-game win streak to ramp up non-conference play. Now it's the real games, folks. This is the MAC opener. Kazmir with the basketball. Kicks it in the corner. Much has it. He'll pull up a three on the way. That one no good. Great closeout there by Marvin Prochet. Rebound King to Matt Scott. Now to Dukes. Back to Matt. Here he goes. Free throw line jumper off the iron. No good. Rebound Much. 13-9. Niagara with the lead. Back comes Deshaun Much. Now to Griffin, Roland Griffin. He'll step in a long two on the way off the back iron. No rebound, Kazmir. Cedric Kazmir at 5 feet 10 inches, the right guy in the right spot to pick up that loose ball. Fresh clock for the Gales. 12.50 left first half. Niagara leads it by four. My name is Todd Callen. We're glad you tuned in to Purple Eagles basketball. Griffin shot on the way. That one no good. Gets his own rebound stick back good. Very active offense here from Iona. Matt Scott, throw it on the block. Here's Greg King with his back to the bucket. Flips it back up top to Matt. Good catch in traffic. Baseline pass. Larkin, shot on the way. That one no good. Offensive rebound, Matt. His put back, that one was no good. And it's gathered up on the baseline by Much Outlet Kazmir. 12-20 left. Kazmir goes baseline on Prochet. Bottled him up, so the pass up top, Much. Much crossover dribble on Matt Scott to the basket. A whistle, and we're going to have a reach-in foul, I believe, on Niagara's Matt Scott. That is, check that, my mistake. It's going to go on Marvin Prochet. Third team foul on the purple and white. 12-14 left. 13-11. Niagara out in front. Purple Eagles shooting 40%. They're 6 for 15. Iona, 4 for 14, just 28%. Much with it. Right wing, Kazmir with a step on Larkin. Slices through the lane. Shot of the way is good by Kazmir, and he will go to the line. Foul is going to go on Kevin Larkin. Fourth team foul on the Purple Eagles. And here is Kazmir, a chance to go to the line where he shoots 84% and a chance to shoot Iona back in front. The former MAC Rookie of the Year honoree for the 14-15 season. Free throw is good. He knew it. And Iona now with the lead. Third lead change already. This is what we expect when these two teams get together in this building. This is a building that Iona's won four in a row in. Prochet with it. Now right wing. Dukes a deep three on the way. Off the iron, no good. High arcing rebound, knocked away. Picked up by Larkin. Fresh clock for the Purple Eagles. Now to Matt. Here's Matt Scott with it now directing traffic. He'll find Dukes. Here's Dukes crossover dribble. Takes Griffin all the way to the bucket. Off glass he goes. That one no good. Bounces a couple times on the rim. And then Ricky McGill picks up the rebound off the floor. Into the front court he comes. Now to Svanderlich. Svanderlich to Much. Deshaun Much. Through the paint he goes. Now to Kazmir. Kazmir to the bucket. Shot in the way. No good. He got banged into a little bit. Back comes Niagara. Khalil Duke. Shot in the way. Good. Caught the basket and the foul. He did it again. He showed the basketball to Griffin. He pulled it back and went off glass. Count the basket. And a free throw when we come back. Timeout. From VWSE, this is Purple Eagles basketball on the Niagara Sports Network.
Fans, this reminder, New Era continues to be a lifestyle brand of choice, not only with its headwear collections, but also accessories and apparel lines. Headquartered in Buffalo, New Era is a proud partner of Niagara Athletics. To learn more about New Era, go to neweracap.com. 15-14, Niagara with the lead, and Khalil Dukes in search of his seventh point of the ball game. A circus shot. The foul is on Deshaun Much. Free throw by Khalil. Swish. Seven in the game for the redshirt senior from Hartford. And Niagara now leads it by two. 16-14 the score. Griffin with it now. Flips it to Much. Niagara back in the 2-3 zone. Greg Kuakamensa checked in at the last break. He's on the baseline flanking Greg King who's in the middle of Niagara's three players along the baseline. There's a two-pointer on the way is good by Roland Griffin. Griffin off the bench with four points. He had a season-high 12 points in their six-point defeat at Rhode Island last time out for Iona. Here's Dukes in the corner. Larkin, here's an open three on the way. Off the rim, no good. Rebound tapped and saved by McGill before it goes out of bounds. Outlet to Much. Iona looking to run. Much fakes the three, slices through the paint. Now to Kazmir. His three off the iron, no good. Rebound, Matt Scott. Here comes Matt into the front court, slams on the brakes. All five Iona Gales are back. Here's Matt, bounce pass right wing to Dukes. Khalil taking it at Kazmir. Now he'll step back, two-pointer swish. Boy, Dukes set him up there. Khalil has nine. 10-22 left. Niagara leading at 18-16. Interior pass, Griffin layup on the way is good. Roland Griffin with four in a row. 18-18 our score. James Towns at the scorer's table. He'll check in for Niagara. But here's a three for Matt Scott. That one on the way, no good. Weak side rebound, Greg King. He'll take it down low against Griffin. Bounce pass, Larkin on the baseline. His shot blocked away. Kuaka Mensa gets it back. Greg shot. That one swatted away by Griffin, and back comes Iona. Two on one. Pass stolen by Dukes. Khalil picked his pocket, and then they shown much. Bangs into him, and that's two on much. Deshaun's going to go all the way to the... Iona Bench, he'll check out. Zach Lewis back in. For the Purple Eagles, James Towns checks in, and Kevin Larkin will have a seat. Well, folks, James Towns has been great lately. How about 10 points in 23 minutes against Cornell? Nine points in 14 minutes against Cleveland State. And he was awfully good on the road at Norfolk State as well. Man-to-man defense this trip now by Iona defensively. Matt Scott with it, now to Towns. 20 to shoot, 9.35 left first half. Whistle away from the basketball, and this is going to be an offensive foul. I think it's going on Greg Kuakamensa. Well, for Greg, that is his first 15 foul on Niagara. We are knotted at 18 apiece. Ricky McGill walks the ball up the court. Preseason All-Mac second team selection. McGill was going to go to Casimir, but Dukes with a good overplay. Now Griffin's got it. Rolling Griffin down low, spinning away from King. Shot on the way. No good. And the weak side rebound, corralled by Quacamensa. Outlet to Towns. Now to Matt. Between the legs he goes. Back to Quacamensa. He'll fake right. All the way to the bucket. Greg shot off glass. No good. And the rebound is corralled by E.J. Crawford, and he gets fouled by Greg King. Well, that's the first on Greg. And the shooting woes continue for the freshman, Greg Kuakamensa. He had a great move there. Good look all the way to the bucket, but unable to get it to go through. On the season, Greg now just 7 for 24. That was a good look, but the rim betrayed him. Ricky McGill with it now. Up top, Crawford. 18 apiece. Crawford into the paint. Left-hand runner is good. What a move over the shot block attempt of... Niagara's Greg King. Iona by two. Here's Towns with it now. Backing out the dribble against Kazmir. Chest pass to Matt. Matt looks to his right. Finds Dukes. Ricky McGill there on the catch. Dukes puts it on the floor. A little hesitation move. Nearly lost his balance. Now to Towns. James steps into a three. Off the rim. No good. Rebound tapped high in the air and controlled by the Gales. TK Adoji with a rebound outlet to Lewis. Zach Lewis in the front court. Back pass Adoji. Adoji taking Quacamensa down low and then Greg swats it into the first row. It'll be Iona ball with 8.28 left in the first half. 20 to 18, Iona out in front. Chris Barton up off the bench for Niagara, and Chris is going to check in. Barton in, he has to ask 
who exactly is coming out. It'll be Khalil Dukes who will come out. With 8.28 left, why not? You get a chance for an extended rest here for Khalil with the under-8 media timeout looming. McGill into Crawford, and a whistle and an offensive foul is called on Iona, and that's a big call. It's going to go on TK Adoji. For TK, that is his second. Tim Cluis now stands, looks down his bench, and is he going to put somebody in? Yes, he will. So Adoji will have to sit down. He's got a pained look on his face as he goes to the sideline. For Iona, Gavin Kensmill will check in. So Kensmill in. Niger with the possession. James Towns with it. 8.22. Now to Quacamensa, left wing Barton. Matt Scott, the only starter on the floor for the Purple Eagles. Here's Matt, crossover dribble on Kensmill to the bucket. Blocked from behind by Crawford. In the hands of Lewis it goes. Back comes Iona. Now to McGill, Ricky McGill, crossover dribble to the bucket, shot in the way, is good, and a foul on Quacamensa. He got him from behind, count the bucket for Ricky McGill. Well, just like that, Marvin Prochet up off the bench, and Marvel check in as Quacamensa picks up his second foul. 22-18, Iona out in front. Niagara led it at 18 to 16. So the Purple Eagles scoreless in multiple trips. Now Zach Lewis kind of just running around looking for a friend it looked like and now will go occupy a spot along the lane. Here is McGill. Free throw on the way is good. But they're going to wipe away the free throw. A lane violation on Zach Lewis. I told you he was wandering around in the paint. So it stays 22-18. Who knows if that point may factor in later because a free throw is good by McGill. Pressure on the backcourt. Prochet catches a pass from Towns now to Matt Scott. Bounce pass. James Towns with it. Now James, top of the key. He's going to step into a three on the way. Swish. Well, they gave it to him, and James, after misfiring on three from the left wing, able to swish that one home. Niagara within one. Crawford with it now. Dribble handoff. Lewis, Zach Lewis, whips it across the floor. Here's McGill with a head of steam into the paint. Floater on the way. Good. He got that one up and over the rim. He took it right at James Towns. 24-21. Back comes Towns. Picked up by Kazmir in the 2-3 zone by Iona. Left wing. Prochet has it. Back to Towns. Niagara looking to balance the floor. New play barked out by James Towns running the point. Towns waits for Dominic Robb to set the screen. Keeps that dribble alive. James, good hesitation move. To the basket, he goes off glass and good. Great finish by James. He's got Niagara's last five points. It's a one-point game again, 24-23. EJ Crawford flips it to Lewis. Now to McGill. Ricky McGill picked up by Towns. Flips a chest pass to Lewis. We're inside of seven minutes. EJ now. Kensmill. Gavin Kensmo with it. Tried to go back door to Kazmir. Now a whistle away from the basketball. And an offensive foul will be called on Kensmill. That's his first media timeout. We'll step aside. 6.46 left first half. Iona 24, Niagara 23. This is Purple Eagles basketball on the Niagara Sports Network. All right, so we didn't talk about but 90 second spots. Thanks. How long? Beautiful. Thank you. Well, each team with 10 made field goals, each team with one three-point basket. And Niagara, two free throws to Iona's three, and that's the difference. The Gales by one, 24-23, Niagara with the possession. Chris Barton with it now, right wing, back to Towns. Towns, crossover dribble, slams on the brakes, right elbow, back to Prochet. Thought about a three, but Lewis closed on him, so he'll go back to Towns. 15 to shoot. Here's James, going to step into a three. That one on the way, no good. Offensive rebound, Matt Scott. Put back, yes! Matt spun that one home. He has seven in Niagara back out in front. Fourth lead change. Check that, sixth lead change here in this opening half. Svanderlich with it now. Svanderlich back up top to Much, who gets ahead of steam. Flips it to Crawford. E.J. Crawford spinning on Matt Scott in the paint. Shot in the way. Good. 
E.J. Crawford, 6'6", 210, using that body down low. Created just enough space. Iona back in front, 26-25. Here's Barton in the paint. His runner, no, but a foul on Iona. That'll send Chris Barton to the line. The foul is on Jan Svanderlich. For the Czech Republic native, that is his first, seventh team foul. Niagara one for eight from three-point range. Iona just one for four. Well, here's Chris to the line. 73% on the season. Free throw on the way. Swish. First point of the ball game for Chris Barton. It had been a while since Chris got in the scoring column. You have to go all the way back to the road trip to Norfolk, Virginia. When Chris chipped in with a half dozen against Norfolk State. Purple Eagles won that game against the Spartans with a last-second three by Matt Scott. Free throw, good by Barton. He knocks them both in. Chris now 75%, 18 of 24. Ricky McGill now to Crawford. EJ's going to step into a three. That one no good. A rebound, Marvin Prochet. Hill outlet to Scott. Niagara by a point. 27-26, 5.40 left first half. This has been an entertaining ball game. Hope you're enjoying it. James Towns with it now. Against a 2-3 zone defense, a whistle and a kick. They'll reset the shot clock. 20 seconds they'll put up with 5.34 left in the opening half. Matt Scott, Dominic Robb, Marvin Prochet, James Towns, and Chris Barton. Towns with the basketball, waits for Marv to set the screen. I'll go right wing to Chris. Barton looking in the paint. Throws it in the block. Here's Dominic Rob going to work on E.J. Crawford. Shot no good. It rimmed out. Great look there for Dom, but unable to get it through. Back comes McGill. Ricky McGill, he'll step back. A three on the way. That one no good. All white shirts underneath. And Dominic Rob catches that one. Waist level for the easy rebound. Towns with it now. Towns spinning on McGill. In the paint. Had his path cut off. And the ball stolen away by Lewis. Into the front court comes Iona. Zach Lewis on the right-hand bounce. He'll ask for help. Gives it to Griffin. Griffin skipping the corner. Here's Crawford. Fakes the three. Jump pass up top. Lewis. Zach Lewis back to Crawford. 15 to shoot. Now they go right wings. Fonderlick with it. Up top. Lewis. Lewis now to Crawford. Here goes Iona. East Jays Crawford in the paint shot. Swatted away by Dominic Robb. Shot clock at five. Now Lewis a deep three. Good. Zach Lewis with a half dozen. 29-27. Iona back in front. Khalil Dukes and Cedric Kazmir will check in at the next whistle. Back comes Niagara. Marvin Prochet misfired. Gets his own rebound. Back to Matt. A three for the lead. Yes! Matt Scott with double figures. He's got 10. Niagara by one. 30 to 29. Svanderlich with it now. Spinning on Prochet. To the basket. Shot no good. But contact and a foul on Dominic Robb. That'll be two on Dom. With 4.09 left. Eighth team foul on the Purple Eagles, second on Dom. And, well, you have to think that we're going to see Greg King in a minute. Coach Casey looking for an explanation from John Garbinski. Dukes is at the scorer's table. Here is Vonderlich to shoot the first of two. He hasn't missed all season. Free throw good. He hadn't missed all season from the line, but he sure did come close. Barton will check out with Dukes checking in. Dominic Robb going to stay on the floor. And maybe that's because Niagara will be on offense here, uh, either with the make, made free throw, or a rebound of a miss. Nine for nine on the season for Svanderlich. Make him 10 for 10. And Iona now leads it 31-30. Again, pressure in the backcourt by the Gales. James Towns gives it to Prochet. Prochet, chest pass over the timeline to Dukes. Picked up by Svanderlich. Across the floor, Towns has it. James Towns, a whistle away from the basketball, and it's going to be on Matt Scott. Now for Matt, I have that as his first. With 3.56 left media timeout, we'll step aside as well. 31-30, Iona from VWSC. This is Purple Eagles basketball on the Niagara Sports Network. Paper <laughs> output, but also to increase efficiency and control costs. Comdoc can do it. They have the right mix of digital imaging product services and solutions. Call Comdoc at 716-689-0202 for your free print responsibly assessment. 
Dominic Robb and Chris Barton have checked out. Greg King and Khalif Tate on the floor. Here's Fonderlich, a three from the left wing. That one partially deflected, I believe, by Prochet. And that is the ruling by John Garbinski and Michael Lucky. So at 3.44 left and 18 on the shot clock, Iona will inbound with a one-point lead. The Gales 41%, 12 of 29, Niagara 36%. They are 12 of 33. Griffin, long bounce pass, nearly stolen by Towns, but Ricky McGill able to get there and scoop it up. Eight to shoot. McGill behind the back against Towns. Shot in the way. That one, no good. Rebound McGill. He's got it. Up shot, no good. Gets his own rebound. Stick back. That miss. Griffin gets the rebound. Then it's knocked away by Towns out to Dukes. Well, that'll hurt your shooting percentage. Here's King with it. Off glass. No, it rimmed out after the foul by Griffin. Roland Griffin whistled for the foul, his first. Well, last trip down, that was really strong interior defense by the Purple Eagles. Ricky McGill with a couple of rebounds in the paint. And back come the Purple Eagles. Dukes on a good feed to Greg King and will go to the line and shoot two. Free throw by Greg, no good, and it has been a struggle from the line. Greg now just 8 for 22. That's in the mid-30s percent-wise, and he has hit just one of his last six looking for his first point of the night. It would give us our seventh tie of the game, and he does. So King splits a pair. We are knotted at 31. Jans Fonderlich will come out. E.J. Crawford in. Good minutes by Fonderlich. 318 left, 31 apiece. Here's McGill with a basketball picked up by Towns. Man-to-man -man defense by the Purple Eagles. Dribble handoff, Kazmir. Now to Lewis. Lewis looks to his left, finds Crawford. E.J. Crawford now to Griffin. Griffin puts it on the deck, trying to go to work on Greg King. Spins, whips it across the floor to Lewis. Lewis now to McGill, 10 to shoot. Three minutes left in the first half. Tied at 31. Kazmir in the paint. Now to Griffin. He'll step into a two, and that's good. A deep two by Roland Griffin. He has eight, already surpassing his per-game average. Now to Prochet, back to Towns. James was open but didn't hoist the three. Now to Tate. Khalif Tate with it. Throws it on the baseline. Here's Prochet. Ball fake. Mismatch against McGill, but Ricky knocked it out of his hands. Marv's got it back. He'll go off glass. No good. Knocked out of bounds. Last touch by the Purple Eagles. Are we going to get an over-the-back foul? I think we are. We're going to get a foul on Greg King. Well, that's two on Greg. And the 10th team foul will send Roland Griffin the length of the floor to shoot two. Griffin, 10 for 16 on the campaign. Two shots, says John Garbinski. 33-31 our score. 63% is Roland Griffin. Free throw on the way. No good. He left that one short. So Griffin, like many of his teammates in his third collegiate home now with Iona. Started his career at Illinois State, then moved to Midland, Texas. And now here he is in New Rochelle. Two years of eligibility remaining. Played for Midland College. 2.32 left. Second free throw on the way. That one is good. Used every bit of the rim, but it counts just the same. Nine first half points, and Iona back up by a three. 34-31. Dukes with it now into the front court. Khalil, he'll step back. A right elbow jumper around and out. No good. A rebound Griffin. That one danced along the rim before going off. Crawford with it. Now back to Griffin. Ball fake on the three. Puts it on the deck. Spinning on Prochet. Floater on the way is good. And Roland Griffin, 11 first half points. Back comes Niagara, but Dukes traveled. 36-31. This equals Iona's largest lead of the game at five. Turnover on the Purple Eagles is their fifth. Each team taking good care of the basketball. Well, 2.06 left. Fresh shot clock for Iona. They lead it by five. McGill tried to find Griffin, but Khalif Tate all tied up with him. Lob pass into the corner, and we're going to get a holding foul on Niagara's Khalif Tate and a bit of a size mismatch there. John Garbinski again. Certainly an active referee in the ball game here tonight. That's the first on Khalif, but the fouls continue to mount on the Purple Eagles. 
Marvin Prochet is playing the five spot with Dominic Robb and Greg King on the sideline with two fouls. And, well, the ball don't lie because Griffin just clanked another free throw. And that looked like a wide receiver and a defensive back going for a pass. But somehow the foul was called on Niagara. Second free throw swish. So Griffin splits a pair. And the largest lead is a half dozen for Iona. Here's Matt Scott with it over the timeline. Trying to get ahead of steam. He's double team. Splits the double team. He'll whip it across the floor to Khalif. Khalif Tate with it now. He'll lob the pass back to Khalil Dukes. 15 to shoot. 100 seconds left in the opening half. Man-to-man -man defense now by Iona. Dukes with it. Shot clock at seven. He's going to hoist a deep three on the way. Off the iron, no good. Rebound battle for Crochet's got it. His layup, no, but a foul. Well, Marvin, the right guy in the right spot as the ball was tipped to him. And Marv went for the layup, but he was fouled from behind, and he'll shoot two. Foul on E.J. Crawford is his first. Purple Eagles, a little bit of confusion there. And now Marv will shoot a pair of free throws, one at a time. First one on the way, swish. Marv, 17 points and 12 rebounds in the big win last weekend at Cornell. 14 of those points in the second half. Had five buckets in the second half. Second free throw, swish. So a pair from the line for Prochet snaps the... Scoreless streak of a couple of minutes by Niagara, and now they're back to within four, 37-33. Minute 20 left, and the dribble handoff to Griffin. Now right back to McGill. Crossover dribble, taking Tate down low. Off glass, he goes, no good, but an offensive foul on Ricky McGill. Now the whistle came a little bit late. I think that's going to be the second on Ricky. It is, so the Spring Valley, New York native will, I think he's coming to the sideline as Jans Fenderlich quickly up off the bench. Now right now they have six players on the court as Ricky McGill pleads his case to John Bar Garbinski, but Michael Lucky is the one that made the call. Niagara down four. Here comes Matt Scott, like a blur, into the front court. Backs out the dribble now. Whip it across the floor. Barton has it. Chris Barton now going to go one-on-one -on -one against E.J. Crawford. Nearly lost the handle of the basketball. Now to Tate. Khalif taking E.J. down low. Floater on the way. No good. Khalif gets his own rebound. Fade away. Good. Khalif Tate with his first field goal of the ball game. Eight different Purple Eagles have scored, and it's a two-point game once again. Kazmir has it stolen from behind by Barton. Now to Matt. Three on two if they hurry. Barton on the right wing. To the glass he goes. Swatted away by Griffin. Outlet to Lewis. Back comes Iona. Two on one. Zach Lewis. Finger roll. No good. The rim blocked him. Back comes Niagara. Take to Barton. Bounce pass. Prochet. Slam! Dunk! Oh, a rim rattle up by Marv. Has Niagara in front. 24 seconds left. 37 apiece. 37 apiece. 15 seconds left and a timeout called by Iona. Well, exactly 16 seconds. 16.0 left. Well, the track meet just broke out here inside the Gallagher Center on Frank and Barbara Layden Court. Back and forth, the clubs went. First, Barton had his shot. Blocked emphatically by Roland Griffin. He outlet to Zach Lewis, who took it strong to the bucket. Had a path along the right lane. Unable to finish. Really got blocked by the underside of the rim. Niagara went back the other way, and Prochet on the business end of that dunk. 37-37. Shot clock off. Dominic Robin James Towns checked in for the Purple Eagles. So Niagara with the MAC leader and shot blocks a season ago. Dom out there with two fouls. Towns, Scott, Tate, Prochet, and Rob. E.J. Crawford to inbound. Yelling down to his head coach, Tim Kloos. Just want to make sure he's got the right play call. They'll fire it into the backcourt. Lewis has it. Start the clock. 13 seconds. Right wing pass, Kazmir. Now to Crawford. Niagara, 2 3 zone. Svenderlich now to Zach Lewis. Six seconds left. Lewis looked along the baseline. Couldn't find anyone. Now Crawford a deep three. That one no good. Rebound Dominic Robb. And that is just the half of it. 20 minutes in the books. 37 apiece as the teams race off the floor. Great opening half. Catch your breath, everybody. Halftime show on the other side of this break. Niagara 37. Iona 37. 
from VWSC. This is Purple Eagles basket. TK Adoji, Deshaun Much, and Zach Lewis. Same starting five. That opened this ball game. I own it. I have it first going left to right in half number two. McGill with the basketball picked up by Tate. Runs him into a screen. Lob pass down low and slammed through by Adoji. The pick and roll. They drew it up and they executed it beautifully in 39-37 Iona. A two-hand dunk. Here's Dukes with it now. Khalil, bounce pass, right wing, Tate fakes the three. He'll take it to the basket, jump stop in the paint, now to Matt. He'll step back, a left wing three, in and out, no good, rebound Griffin. Roland Griffin back the other way, puts it on the deck, into the front court, now to McGill. McGill, a long two on the way, that one off the rim, no good. And a whistle as Adoji went up for the rebound, and I think that one's going to go on Dominic Robb. It is on Dom, that is his third. Adoji first to elevate. So Dom whistled for his third. McGill to inbound. Iona leading at 39-37. A thunderous dunk attempt. No good. Fired it off the back rim. Did Adoji. And now he is clutching his right hand. You have to figure that a lot of that right hand clanked against the rim. He runs the baseline. He looks okay as Zach Lewis dribbles it out top. Zach Lewis now left wing, kicks in the corner. McGill, he's open, a three on the way. Off the rim, no good. Weak side rebound, gobbled up by Adoji. Adoji back to Much. Fresh shot clock here for Iona. Much through the paint. Left-hand runner is good, and the foul. Deshaun Much able to finish with Prochet draped all over him. And for Marv, that is his second count the basket. And Iona out quickly here as Greg King checks in, and Dominic Robb will sit down. First four points and maybe more with Much at the line looking for the three-point play. Last five games have been productive for Much as a free throw is good. He switches that one in. He's averaged 13 and a half points per game over the last five contests. Dukes with it now to Tate. Double team comes, so he'll dribble it back out to Prochet. Prochet now to Dukes. That deep 2-3 extended zone now by Iona. Dukes with the basketball. Into the paint he goes. Tried to throw the pass back, but it got knocked away and stolen. Here comes Much into the front court. Shot blocked away by Matt Scott. Then off the fingertips of Iona, and it'll be Purple Eagle ball. Well, Matt Scott doing a good job to clean up that turnover for Niagara. And the Purple Eagles trailing it by five, bringing it into the front court. Dribble handoff now to Matt Scott. Going to go strong to the basket. Finger roll, no good. Rebound tapped up, but controlled by Adoji. Adoji outlet to McGill, slicing through the lane. Back to Adoji, finger roll, no good. Too strong. And then the late call comes. Boy, the late whistle as the ball rolled off the rim. Wow, the foul's going to go on Khalif Tate, and that is his second. Well, again, the official waited to see what would happen to the ball, and when it rimmed out, then the whistle came. So here's Adoji. Free throw on the way is good. Three second half points for Adoji, who is now 90% from the line. The grad student from Phoenix was at Tulsa for four years, played three years. He sat out the 15-16 season. Well, seven straight to open this second half. Has Iona out in front, 44-37. Here's Khalif Tate, right elbow jumper. That one no good. One and done by the Purple Eagles. Back comes Iona. Much with it. Now to Griffin. Griffin trying to wiggle free from Greg King. He can't. He'll throw it back to McGill. His three is swished in. Purple Eagles need timeout, and they got it. Ricky McGill buries that three in a 10-0 run to open this second half, and the Purple Eagles call timeout. We'll step aside as well. 17.59 left from VWSC. This is Purple Eagles basketball on the Niagara Sports Network. Very late. Uh, it was bad. It was bad. Um, how do we do on spots for halftime? Were we okay? All right, good. This is like a bonus spot. Why do they do that? He waits, and it rims off, and now it's a foul? It's either a foul or it isn't. Let's go. Yeah. Well, Niagara just about to inbound the basketball against full court pressure. It hasn't been anything that has been too high-octane pressure. Inbounds pass comes to Dukes now to Tate. Khalif will take it over the timeline. 
Man-to-man defense is set by Iona. Now they'll drop back in the 2-3 zone. They switch defenses. Dukes has it. Left wing, Tate. Khalif at the left elbow. Now he'll go in the corner. Matt, a wide open three. Off the rim, no good. Weak side rebound, Prochet, but a whistle away from the basketball. And a foul on Iona's Ricky McGill, and that is his third. A shove in the back of Marvin Prochet, one of the league leaders in rebounding. And here is a substitution. Cedric Kazmir will check in. You have to think McGill and his three fouls are coming out. And that is the change by eighth-year head coach Tim Kluse. 17-41 left. Niger continuing to struggle from three-point range. Now two for 13. There's the pass. Right wing stolen by Zach Lewis. Niger turns it over. And here's Ione in the front court. Already with a 10-point lead. Lewis, crossover move. Floater on the way. No good. But a foul is called on Niagara's Greg King. Well, for Greg, that is his third. Dominic Robb on the sideline with three fouls. Two and a half minutes in, five fouls called already in this second half. Four on Niagara. Zach Lewis went over to dry off his hands, and now he's ready to head to the stripe. First of two free throws is swished in by Zach Lewis, the grad student from Windsor, Connecticut. In the tournament at the Bahamas that Iona participated in earlier this season. He was named to the all-tourney team. Second free throw good and Zach Lewis with eight. Prochet lobs it up near center court where Matt Scott makes a catch right near the boundary. Back to Prochet. Marv takes it over the timeline, flips it to Dukes. A 12-0 run here by Iona to open up the second half. Prochet with it. He'll pull up. Left elbow jumper. Good. That one slithered over the rim and stayed down. Tough shot there by Marvin Prochet. So the Purple Eagles on the scoreboard here in the second half. 49-39, they trail. Back pass, Much. Much puts it on the deck. Jump pass in the paint. Now to Lewis. He'll hoist a three. That one is good by Zach Lewis. His third three-pointer of the ball game, and he has 11. Back comes Niagara's Matt Scott. Going to take it all the way to the basket. Shot no good, but a blocking foul on Iona. That'll go on Zach Lewis. Now the whistles are coming with great frequency here in this second half. 3-10 gone. That's the first on Zach Lewis. Second team foul. 26 on the shot clock as the foul occurred on the floor. Niagara to inbound. Matt up top to Prochet. Marvin Prochet with it now. We'll give it right back to Matt. To the left of the top of the key. Matt going to go baseline. Up and under. Pass up top. Prochet. He leaves it for Tate. Here's Khalif. Great crossover dribble. To the basket he goes. Shot on the way. No good. Tapped up. That missed. And Adoji cleans it up for Iona. Outlet to Griffin. Griffin across the floor to Lewis. Here comes Zach Lewis. To the basket. Shot on the way. No good. Tapped up and in by Adoji. TK Adoji now with eight in the game. Niagara down by 15. Back they come. Matt Scott. He'll pull up a three on the way. Off the rim. No good. And... Again, Iona with the rebound, and they look to run. Much with it. Back to Griffin. He'll hoist a three. That one on the way. Off the rim, no good. Rebound battle for Adoji. Up and over Tate. One dribble. Now he's bottled up. 16 minutes left here in the second half. Pass to Much. They've shown Much. Now up top to Lewis. 18 to shoot. We're inside of 16 minutes. Griffin, runner on the way. Good off glass. And Iona is having their way with the Purple Eagles here in this second half, and Niagara calls timeout. 15.48 left. A 19-2 start to this second half, and we will step aside. 15.48 left from VWSC. This is Purple Eagles basketball on the Niagara Sports Network. Yeah. I know. DT. Struggling. Well, Bart, Barton's coming in. Yeah. But. What? Well, Iona. Quick start to this second half. 15.48 left. Purple Eagles down by 17. Just like that, this game has 
Balloon to a big lead, 19-2 here in the second half. Iona leading the way. They're 6 for 12 from the field. Niagara just 1 for 7. Here's Dukes, a deep 3. Off the rim, no good. Rebound battled for. Griffin comes away with it. Into the front court. Griffin now to Lewis. He'll step into a 3. Off the rim, no good. Weak side rebound, Dukes. Now to Matt Scott. Matt trying to get ahead of the defender. Comes out of his shoe and still lays it in. The one sneaker, Matt Scott, able to lay it in. He catches a sneaker from Dukes, and he's going to try and put it on. Into the front court comes Griffin. Matt Scott holding on to his sneaker. Griffin to Much. He'll go to the left elbow, spinning on Matt. Shot in the way. No good. Outlet to Prochet, and now the whistle comes, and Matt Scott will put his shoe on. Well, Niagara outscoring Iona 2 to nothing with only one shoe on Matt Scott. 56-41. There was a lot going on there. He caught the pass from Dukes, came out of his sneaker, made the layup, then going back the other way had to catch the sneaker from Dukes and went back to play defense one-handed. Back he comes into the front court. Bounce pass in the baseline. King, a two-hand dunk! Well, Niagara has come out of that timeout with some energy. Four in a row. 56-43. Back comes Iona and a foul on the floor. I think that's going to go on Marvin Prochet, and if it is on Marv, that'll be his third. So three on Marv, 15 foul on the Purple Eagles. Again, with 14.56 left, this certainly looks as though it'll be a game that Iona will spend a fair amount of time at the charity stripe. They lead the conference at 76%. Griffin with it, trying to go one-on-one against Matt Scott. He'll step back, two-pointer on the way. Good, he got the roll. That was good defense by Matt Scott, but Griffin now is 16. And a whistle. Now, I believe this is another instance where Iona did not let the ball go through the hoop. And they have been warned. 58-43, Niagara down by 15. Now to Dukes. Khalil has misfired on some deep, deep threes. And again, those are makeable shots for Khalil. Now he'll take it down low. He gets banged into by Kazmir. He made the three-pointer, but the foul, they'll say, occurred on the floor. And for Cedric, that is his first. 14-37 left. Chris Barton inbound. Barton, King, Prochet, Dukes, and Scott. Throw it on the baseline. Marv by himself. Layup good. Boy, that no-look pass from Khalil Dukes was a beauty. Niagara within 13. 58-45. It will need to start on the defensive end, though. Zach Lewis with it now. Right wing much. They shown much. Whips it up top. Griffin. Left wing it goes. Kazmir. Back to much. Top of the key. Ball fake. Oh, he nearly got away. Well, he did get away with a travel. Much has it again. Picked up by Prochet and his three fouls. Crossover dribble up top. Zach Lewis, five to shoot. Lob pass down low. Shot attempt, no. Two to shoot. Edoji, his shot, no good. Rebound, Prochet. That's good. 30 seconds worth of defense for Niagara. Right wing pass. Matt, an open three on the way. Off the rim, no good. Rebound, Edoji. Great look there for Matt, but unable to finish. Outlet now to Kazmir into the front court. Kazmir flips it to Much. He'll hoist a three. That one no good. Rebound out of bounds. Last touch by Adoji. Wow, the Purple Eagles need to get some. They want to talk this over. They will ask for some help. That ball went off of TK Adoji. We have the LCTV audience with us. Play will resume, so no need to cue that one up. But fill in the truck. I know you're going to work on that one and see if maybe this is a bonus possession for Iona. Boy, it looked in live action that that went off of Idoji. Back pass, Kazmir. He'll flip it to Griffin. Griffin fakes the two. Now back to Kazmir. A whistle away from the basket, or away from the ball, and it's a three-second violation. So the ball does go back to Niagara, so no need to worry about queuing that up. Here comes Niagara's Khalil Dukes into the front court. Little floater on the way. Good, that went up and over, Idoji. Niagara scored eight of the game's last 10 points, and they're within 11. Zach Lewis with it now. He'll step back. He swishes in a three. Fourth three-pointer of the game for Lewis. Back comes Dukes in the corner. Barton, he's going to step in a two on the way. That one no good. He left it flat. Offensive rebound, Greg King. Now to Matt. Up top, Khalil. Khalil's going to go all the way to the bucket. Runner, no, but a foul. That should be on Adoji, and he'll send Khalil Dukes to the line. For TK Adoji, that is his third. 
Niagara down by 14, and Khalil Dukes, one of the top free throw shooters in the country, will go to the line and shoot two. First one on the way, swish. Khalil, eight for eight in the win at Cornell. Four for four prior to that against Cleveland State. His last miss, gonna have to go all the way back to Norfolk, Virginia, 61-48. Khalil looking for his fourth point of the half, and it is good. 13 in the game for Khalil Dukes. A ton of time left. Niagara down by 12. 61-49. Zach Lewis with the basketball. The former Golden Griffin to Casimir now up top. Svanderlich has checked in. He'll go right wing to Griffin. Greg King out to get him. Backdoor cut Lewis, and the layup is good. Zach Lewis with 10 second half points. Back comes Khalil Dukes, and he gets banged into and goes down hard. He will pop right back up off the deck and... Khalil Dukes draws another foul on Iona. It'll go on Roland Griffin. That is his second. Five fouls, five team fouls apiece. Boy, Khalil has been put through the ringer here tonight. Matt Scott to inbound to King. Now to Prochet. Prochet whips it right side. Here's Matt. Throw it on the block. King going to work. Layup good. Zach Lewis tried to buy the call. He flopped to the ground, and Greg just kind of stepped around him and laid it in. Back to within 12, 63-51. Svanderlich with it now to Griffin. Griffin, he'll step back. Free throw line jumper on the way. No good. He left it short, and a one-handed rebound by Prochet. Outlet to Dukes. Back comes Niagara into the front court. Dukes spinning away from Lewis. Little runner. Good! Khalil Dukes with six in a row for the Purple Eagles. And they're to within 10. 63-53. 12-0-1 left. Jump pass stolen away by Matt. Now Khalil's got a touch pass to Matt. Two on two with Barton. Pass to Barton. Ball fake goes up off glass. Yes! Barton able to finish. And a tie by Iona. 11-52 left. This will go as the media timeout. 63-55. From VWSC, this is Purple Eagles basketball on the Niagara Sports Network. Welcome back to Purple Eagles basketball. Tonight's game brought to you in part by AdPro. AdPro Sports is the official uniform and branded merchandise provider of Niagara University Athletics. Go to adprosports.com to learn more about custom branded merchandise for your team or business. Well, since the last media timeout, Purple Eagles on a 16-7 run of their own to get back to within eight. 11.49 left as Ricky McGill back on the floor over the timeline to Griffin. Griffin going to work against Matt Scott, takes him into the paint, floater off glass, no good, rebound Matt. Back he comes. Now to Dukes. Throw it on the right baseline. Here's Barton with it. To Matt. Here's Matt with a step on the defender. Looping pass in the corner to Prochet. Boy, Marv set up in his office, but unable to hoist that one as it's stolen away by much. But we have a whistle. It was dribbled on the boundary by Deshaun Much. So with 17 to shoot, Niagara will inbound. Khalil Dukes to pull the trigger. King, Prochet, Dukes, Scott, and Barton. Niagara to inbound, whips it up top, Matt with the catch. 15 to shoot. On the right hand bounce, across the floor, Barton has it. 10 to shoot. Chris between the legs, against Much, gonna take him down low. Spins in the paint, shot in the way, good! A little finger roll there by Chris Barton. Barton with a half dozen. He has six, the Iona lead is six, just like that. Their largest lead was at 17, four minutes ago. Svanderlich with it now to McGill. 13 to shoot. Too much. He's going to step in a long two on the way. In and out, no good. Rebound, Prochet. Outlet to Matt Scott. Niagara looking to run and get closer. Back pass, Khalil fakes the three. In the corner, Marva three. Yes! This time from his right corner office. Prochet gets to Niagara within three. 63-60. Griffin with it now to Much. Much, dribble handoff to Crawford. Crawford likewise to Griffin. Griffin nearly fumbled it away. Now Svonderlich, a high arcing three on the way, no good. Oh, white shirts underneath. 
Crochet rebound. Now to Dukes into the front court. Dukes, crossover dribble, takes it down low. Floater on the way off glass. No good. Rebound. Sponderlick outlet much. Khalil trying to draw the call. Didn't get it. Much. Now to McGill. He'll hoist a three. Ricky's three on the way. Around and out. No good. Rebound. Prochet cradles the basketball. He'll leave it for Dukes. Niagara can tie it with a three. Oh, Khalil had one of those 28-footers sized up but didn't hoist it. Now he'll back out the dribble to King. Greg in the paint. Runner no. Stick back. Yes! Greg King able to clean up his miss. Niagara within one. 940 left. Just like that. Here's Ricky McGill, pass King, layup on the way. No good, it rimmed out, but a whistle and a foul. Greg King will try to help Ricky McGill to his feet, but Ricky's going to wait, and he came down hard, I think, on his elbow. The foul is on Matt Scott, and for Matt, that is his second. Well, this is so similar to that game at Norfolk State where the Purple Eagles were down by 16, 17 points, and in the blink of an eye, they had it to within a possession, and here we are again. Niagara down one. Here's McGill. First of two free throws on the way is good. TK Adoji and Zach Lewis check in. Griffin and I think it was Crawford sat down, so McGill with eight points in the game. He is their team leader, averaging 13 per contest. 64-62. Iona with the lead. Second free throw is on its way, and it is no good. Around and out, rebound King. Greg King now to Dukes. Khalil into the front court, slams on the brakes. Behind the back now to King. King looks for a guard, and he'll find Matt Scott with it. Good catch in traffic by Matt. Bounce pass in the corner. Barton all the way to the bucket. Shot on the way. No good. Good defense there, closing out by Iona in the paint. Back comes McGill in the corner. Much he'll hoist a three. Good. They shown much knocks down the three. His first triple of the night. He has eight and the lead five again. Iona 67, Niagara 62, and Khalil whips that one out of bounds. Turnover on Niagara with 8:59 left. And I'll tell you what, it does look like the Purple Eagles are gassed a little bit. That run took a ton out of Niagara. Five players still out there. Prochet, Barton, Duke, Scott, and King. Now the motion offense by Iona. Out at the top of the key. Back to Deshaun. He's going to hoist a three. That one on the way. No good. Air ball over. Shot the rim. Picked up by Matt. Back he comes. Here's Matt. Scott passed to Barton, but it goes past Chris and out of bounds. Boy, Chris was wide open. And again, folks, that is fatigue. Fatigue there on the incomplete pass from Scott to Barton, and Niagara turns it over on consecutive trips, down five. Greg King will check out to a great ovation, and Dominic Robb back in. James Towns takes off his warm-up. He'll check in at the next whistle. Ricky McGill with it now. Whips at the corner. Svonderlich trying to get Adoji open underneath. He had him, but he didn't give him the basketball. Adoji and Dominic Robb really banging together in the paint. Here's Much spinning away from Prochet, had it knocked away. Dom picks it up to Dukes. Khalil into the front court, between the legs, past the defender, left-hand runner. That one blocked, but stepping on the boundary with a basketball was Jan Sfonderlich. Well, Niagara has gone a little bit one-on-one basketball here, and when they haven't turned it over, Iona has been up to the challenge defensively. It has been a handful of empty trips in a row for Niagara, but they still trail it by five. James Towns checked in for Chris Barton. Everybody collects their breath. Towns inbound to Prochet. His layup no good. Oh, that one might have been deflected. Back comes Iona. Much to Svonderlich. He'll step into a three. It's no good. Offensive rebound to Doji. Put back. Good. It spun in. A line drive from in tight by TK Adoji. And he has 10. And the lead back up to seven. Niagara needs that under eight media timeout. Towns back past Dukes. Khalil nearly fumbled it away. Now he'll flip it to Towns. Here's James. Back up top, Dukes fakes a three, splits a double team. Right elbow jumper on the way. That one no good. Rebound, Dominic Robb. Put back, yes, and the foul. Boy, it couldn't have come up with a better time for that, Dominic Robb. Second chance points. We'll put Niagara to the line when we come back. 69-64, Iona. 7.33 left from VWSC. This is Purple Eagles basketball on the Niagara Sports Network.
Thank you. Yep. Thanks, Catch. Well, fans, be sure to come check out the newly renovated Lucky Sports Bar inside the Military Road OTB branch at 2500 Military Road in Niagara Falls. Great daily food and drink specials open now. Batavia Downs Gaming and Western Regional OTB, our public benefit corporation, and they have given millions back to our member municipalities, including Niagara County. Dominic Robb at the line for the Purple Eagles. Dom trying to finish the three-point play. He's 0 for 2 from the line tonight. Niagara down 5. Free throw on the way. No good. Clanked it off the back iron and the rebound to Zach Lewis. It stays a 69-64 game. Iona outscoring the Purple Eagles 32-27 since the break. We went in at 37 apiece. Svanderlich with it. Now to McGill. McGill had it knocked away. Ball loose on the floor. McGill picks it up, flips it back to Svanderlich. Eight to shoot. Now to Griffin. Griffin all the way to the bucket. Pass in the paint, and Adoji slams it through. What a feed by Griffin to TK Adoji. He had the easy part. Towns with it now over the timeline. 71-64 back to Dukes. Dukes now to Matt Scott against a 1-3-1 defense. In the corner, Towns. Now to Matt. Bounce it across the floor. Khalil, a long three. That one bounces high off the rim, no good. And the rebound, Iona, outlet McGill. Down low, Svanderlich, his shot on the way. No good, he missed the layup from in tight. Rebound, Matt Scott. Matt leaves it for Towns. Towns nearly lost control of the basketball. He did. Svanderlich has it. He's tied up. McGill with it right in front of us, and a timeout called by Iona. Niagara turned the basketball over. They had it near center court, and with 6.29 left, Iona is given the timeout, a 30-second timeout. So we'll keep things right here. As mentioned on the out-of-town scoreboard, Canisius defeated Ryder today, 77-76 at the Kessler Center. Marist out in front of Siena. They've got 7.07 left at the McCann Center. And Marist leading it 53-46. They're trying to open up their conference schedule with a win. Last night, Quinnipiac defeated Monmouth. 78 to 76. 629 left. The arrow favors Niagara, and there was a couple chances there where if the officials got a little antsy, they could have set a jump ball. But Iona with the possession after they had corralled the basketball, they called timeout, and here we go. 625 left, Iona. With the ball and a seven-point lead, there's a dribble handoff and an offensive foul away from the ball on Ricky McGill, and that is four on McGill. You know, he flipped the ball to a teammate, and then he kind of slid in front of the Purple Eagle defender, and now they're going to let Deshaun Much check in. Boy, they gave Iona all kinds of time. They, the Iona bench wasn't ready with McGill having four fouls. Niagara nearly was able to inbound that basketball. Towns with it now. Again, a 1-3-1 zone defense here by Iona. Matt has it. Matt dribbles away from the double team. High arcing pass in the corner. Caught by Barton. One dribble by Chris. Now we'll throw it in the block. Here's Dominic Robb going to work. Floater on the way. That one no good. Rebound loose, and it goes into the hands of Much. Back comes Iona. Iona's they showing Much to Griffin. Boy, he traveled, but they didn't call it. They'll say he didn't have control of the ball. Now Griffin down low, shot in the way, no good. Gets his own rebound, stick back, that missed. Loose on the floor. Barton comes away with it for Niagara. Three on three. Here's Chris, crossover dribble to the basket. Run out, good, and the foul! Chris Barton, all 6'3 and 200 pounds of them, steamrolled to the bucket. The finish makes it 71-66. Marvin Prochet will check in. Dominic Robb will sit down. Good minutes there by Dom. So Marv will play the five. Chris Barton to the line to shoot one. Barton two for two in the first half. Building gets quiet. Free throw on the way. Good. 
Well, Chris, seven points since the break. Ian Prochet leading the way for Niagara since the intermission. Three players in double figures. The score, 71-67. Iona in the front court. Much with it. Looks to his right to a doji. Right back to Much. Niagara man-to-man -man defense. Much going to go on the baseline. Bounce pass. Svanderlich now up top. Zach Lewis has it. Lewis puts it on the deck. He pushed away. Is it going to be an offensive foul? It is. An offensive foul called on Zach Lewis as he shoved Khalil Dukes away with the right hand. And that'll give the ball back to Niagara with 5.15 left. Second on Lewis. Ninth team foul on the Gales. 71-67 in a second half that at one point Niagara trailed by 17. Towns now to Matt. Back to Towns. Again, those looping passes over the 1-3-1 defense. Back it goes to Matt. Bounce pass in the corner. Barton fakes a three. He'll step in a two on the way. Good! That one rattles in for Chris Barton. 7-2 run by the Purple Eagles, and it's a two-point game. 71-69. Lewis flips it to Griffin. 4.45 left from the Gallagher Center. Griffin in the corner it goes. Svanderlich back to Griffin. 10 to shoot in the corner. Svanderlich going to hoist a three. On the way, air ball picked up by Towns on the other side of the rim. Back comes Niagara. Four and a half minutes left. Towns with it. Bounce pass, Matt. Going to take it along the baseline. To the bucket, he goes fade away on the way. That one no good. Rebound battled for, and Adoji comes away with it. Niagara thought that Matt Scott was fouled. Much into the front court with it now. Pass up top to Zach Lewis. Zach Lewis, four three-pointers in the ball game. He's the only one that has shot well from range for Iona. Lewis with it, 13 to shoot. Right wing pass caught by Much. Much is going to step in a two-pointer on the way off the iron. No good. All white shirts underneath. Prochet outlet to Towns. Here's James Towns with a head of steam to the basket. Layup no good, but a foul is called, and James Towns will go to the line when we come back. A chance to tie from the stripe for Towns. 3.52 left. Timeout. 71-69 Iona from VWSE. This is Purple Eagles basketball on the Niagara Sports Network. All right, sir. We got to be almost ahead, right? Is this one of the three, or, or will there be? Because oh, okay, well, then we're right on because this is a uh, this is the last uh, media timeout. Yep. Okay. Thank you. Nats and Lou DiBiase back in our Amherst studios. My name is Todd Callen. We're happy to have you along for Purple Eagles basketball. 71-69 with 3.52 left. And with Sweet Caroline playing, our LCTV audience can see that, well, there is some great harmony up there in the audience. We have a Niagara fan dancing with an Iona fan. Everyone's friendly when it comes to Neil Diamond. 3.52 left. James Towns to the line with a chance to tie it. First trip to the stripe for the sophomore from Detroit. First one on the way. Good. Boy, that one stayed down. James will have another. This one for the tie. Good. Niagara's come all the way back from a 17-point second-half deficit. Tie number nine. Number nine. McGill now to Griffin. Who's going to be better over the final 340? Zach Lewis with it now. Across the floor to Griffin. Griffin puts it on the deck, trying to shake free of Marvin Prochet. Layup on the way. No good. Rebound Niagara. James Towns. Back he comes with a head of steam, but now James slams on the brakes to Matt. Here's Matt Scott. Finger roll to the bucket. He get it blocked away. Saved by Barton. Whip pass up top. Corralled by Towns. Now it's stolen away, and Much has it. Much throws it away. Turnover, Iona. 318 left. Anybody want the basketball? Niagara to inbound. James Towns looks at head coach Chris Casey barking out a new play call. 
Dribble handoff now to Dukes. Dukes with it. 3.05 left now to Matt Scott. Fifth leading score in the country. Three minutes left. Here is Matt on the right-hand bounce. Crossover dribble on Lewis. To the basket. He goes off glass. No, but contact and a foul. We'll send Matt Scott to the line to shoot two more. Fouls on Zach Lewis. That is his third. Folks, Niagara's last lead, John Cacciatore tells me, was 30-29 to 29 with about four minutes left in the opening half. Matt, free throw for the lead. Yes! Baker's does it in the ball game for Matt Scott. Four Purple Eagles in double figures now. Niagara, 72-71 they lead. Free throw on the way. No good. Goes after the rebound, but E.J. Crawford able to corral it. Boy, Matt knew that one was a little bit too strong, and it rattled out. 2.50 left. Niagara now up by a point. 72-71. The first of 18 conference games. Are they all going to be like this? No, we can only hope. Lewis back to Crawford. Crawford, they're trying to get a doji open with a mismatch against Dukes, but they can't get it to him. Zach Lewis takes Barton down low. Shot of the way, no good, and Matt Scott will pick up the loose ball now to Barton. Barton going to go all the way to the basket, knocked away by Mutch, and stolen back by Towns. Fresh shot clock for the Purple Eagles. At least the shot clock was reset to 30. 2.20 left. Now the shot clock at 25, and I'll tell you what. First thing I did was look up at the shot clock, and it seemed to be stuck on 30, and now they'll set it at 24, and I think that's right. 2.20 left. Niagara leading at 72 to 71. Substitution for Iona. Adoji in, EJ Crawford out. Now Adoji had Khalil Dukes on him last trip, but Iona couldn't find him, and the wild shot by much was rebounded by Matt Scott. Here's Dukes with it. 17 to shoot. Left wing now to Towns. 15 to shoot. James keeps the ball as Much overplays on Matt Scott. Now Matt's got it. Eight. Eight to shoot. Now six. Dukes out near midcourt. Bounce pass to Matt. He sees the shot clock and he dribbles it away and it's stolen by Iona. Back comes McGill. Ricky McGill to the bucket. Good and Iona has the lead. Ten points in the game for Ricky McGill as the Purple Eagles turn it over. A minute 45 left. Niagara now down by one. Dukes with it. Crossover dribble, and he gets banged into by Zach Lewis, and that's four on Lewis, and now Khalil Dukes will go to the line and shoot two, and Tim Kloos can't believe that call. Khalil Dukes will go to the line and shoot a pair. Now Lewis is going to head on over to the lead referee, Steve McJunkins, and plead his case. Here is Khalil. Free throw on the way. Swish. Nobody else you'd want there on the line for Niagara in this spot. 99 seconds left. 73 apiece. Is Dominic Robb going to check in? At this point, he won't. Coach Casey. Very confident that Khalil will break the tie with this second free throw. It's on the way, and it is no good. It rimmed out. Boy, it looked a little bit offline from where we were. And a streak into the mid-teens of consecutive made free throws by Khalil Dukes goes by the boards. 90 seconds left, 73 apiece. Lewis with it. They are trying to get a doji open against Dukes. They can't. Now there's a lob pass on the block. A doji whips it up top. Much a three on the way. is swished in by Deshaun Much. He's got 11, Iona by three. A minute 12 left, and Niagara calls timeout. This is the Purple Eagles' final timeout. This will be a full timeout. We'll step aside. Come right back after this. Niagara down three from VWSE. This is Purple Eagles basketball on the Niagara Sports Network. Really good. I know. Was it 15? Fans, just a reminder, you can join the Purple and White Club. That's the annual giving organization that supports all of Niagara's athletic programs. Purple and white gifts are used to enhance recruiting, travel, and equipment budgets, as well as support other priorities as determined by the department. For more information on how you can support Niagara Athletics, visit PurpleEagles.com or call Steve Butler Monday morning, 716, or check that Tuesday morning, 
716-286-8600. Niagara down three. Here we go. 70 seconds left. Matt Scott with a basketball out near center court. Picked up by Much. Man-to-man -man defense by Iona. Back pass Prochet. Now in the corner to Dukes. Here's Khalil. Picked up by Griffin. Khalil going to take Griffin down low. Floater off glass. Good. He spun that one home. Well, the Niagara took the two-point basket. That's smart. They get it to within one. 76-75. Ricky McGill with it. 20 on the shot clock, 45 on the game clock, Iona by one. 76-75, McGill crossover dribble to the basket. No good, but a blocking foul is called on Niagara down low. Dukes went down, Matt Scott went down, Ricky McGill went down, and the foul is on Matt. That's his third and free throws up coming for Iona's Ricky McGill. Seventh team foul on the Purple Eagles, but Ricky will shoot two. 68% on the season and one for two from the line tonight. It'll stay a one possession game regardless of what happens here at the stripe. 40.4 seconds left. Niagara's out of timeout. Free throw by McGill is good. He snuck that one in the side door. He's got 11. For the game, Iona 70. 5% from the line. They're the best in the league when it comes to free throws, and Ricky knocks them both in, and it's a three-point lead, 78-75. See what Niagara does on offense here. Dukes to Matt Scott, picked up by Much. He'll run Much into a screen. Matt with the basketball now. In the corner, Khalil, an open three for the tie. No good, it rimmed out. Rebound to Matt Scott. Pass down low, Prochet layup. No, but a foul on Adoji. For TK Adoji, that is his fifth foul, and Marvin Prochet will go to the line, and he will shoot two. Now wait, did they call that one on Zach Lewis? Nope, the horn blows. I saw John Garbinski, and I thought at first he just put up the one index finger. Boy, that is the call. It's on Zach Lewis. Now Zach Lewis has five. Oh, well, that's a bigger development, I think, for Niagara than Adoji. Zach Lewis is having himself a big game here tonight. He's got 16 points, but he will not have another. And Tim Clues is yelling at the official, saying, aren't you supposed to look to see who the foul is on because he thought it was on Adoji. And now the Iona bench being warned that they had best put their substitute player in They've taken well past the 30 seconds a lot, and now the officials want to resume play. Marvin Prochet will go to the line. 78-75. Everybody on the edge of their seats here tonight. 24.1 seconds left. Here is Marv to shoot two. The deep breath. First one on the way. No good. Niagara has missed their last two free throws here tonight. A chance to get point number 76. Here is Prochet. Free throw, airborne, that one is in. Substitutions on both sides. Khalif Tate in, Dominic Robb out. TK Adoji out. EJ Crawford in, 78-76 the score. Shot clock off, 24.1 seconds left. Niagara will have to go for the steal. They can't get it. Here's Much in the backcourt. Bounce pass picked up by Milton. Now into the corner it goes. Here's McGill in a reach-in foul on Niagara's Marvin Prochet. Boy, Griffin had it. Niagara wanted to foul him, but he was able to release the pass in time to McGill, and now Ricky McGill will go to the line and shoot the one-and-one. One. Substitutions on both sides. A couple of big men come in. Dominic Robb for Niagara as Khalif Tate goes out. Idoji in and E.J. Crawford out. Big spot in the ball game here. Ricky McGill, three for four. The Iona team, 15 for 20 tonight, 75%. One and one, 78-76 the score. 17.2 seconds left. It is on the way and it is no good. He left it short, rebound Niagara. 13 seconds left, they can tie it with a two or take the lead with a three. Dukes along the baseline, now to Matt. A three on the way, no good. Rebound, Prochet, put back, yes! We are tied, 4.7 seconds left. Here's Iona, they shown much with it. For the win, it's on the way, no good! And are headed to overtime. 
78, 78. What a comeback by Niagara. They put five more minutes on the clock. And you know what? It's freezing outside, so we're gonna stay right here. Boy, the mercury soaring inside the Gallagher Center. 78 apiece. Iona 37% for the game, Niagara 39% for the game. Purple Eagles just three for 19 from three point range on their home floor. Dominic Robb, TK Adoji at the center jump circle. We will start overtime off with another tip. Niagara will go right to left. Ball in the air, tap controlled by the Purple Eagles. Chris Barton will give it to Dukes. Rob Barton, Dukes, Prochet, and Matt Scott. Marvin Prochet on the floor with four fouls. For Iona, Ricky McGill with four and TK Adoji with four. Here's Barton with it now, right wing to Matt. Matt goes baseline, he'll step back, a high arcing two on the way, that one no good, rebound to Doji. So Niagara misfires, and here is Iona into the front court. Griffin, a little floater in the paint, that one stayed down. Up and over Chris Barton, and Iona scores first in the extra session. 18 points, here's Dukes, Khalil, a step back three on the way, no good. Offensive rebound, Matt put back, that missed, but will whistle and a foul. We'll send Matt Scott to the line to shoot two. Who's this one on? It's on TK Adoji, and that's it. That is the end of the night for Adoji. He fouls out. Matt Scott will go to the line, but again, Iona will have to make a substitution. Second player fouling out. EJ Crawford will check in. For the Purple Eagles, second time they've been in the extra session this season. Earlier this month, at home against St. Francis, Niagara lost in overtime. Free throw by Matt is good. He rattled that one in. Niagara back to within a point. Looking for our 12th tie of this ball game that has now reached overtime. Free throw on the way. Swish! So Matt knocks them both in. 80 apiece. In that overtime game against... St. Francis, St. Francis scored the first seven points of overtime and Niagara was, was never in it in the extra session. Purple Eagles 2-3 zone defense. Up top McGill, looks to his left, finds Kazmir. Cedric Kazmir, back pass. McGill, a wide open three. That one no good, too strong. Rebound, saved by Prochet to Matt Scott. What a play by Marv. Marv able to save it and he nearly disappeared into the hallway that heads back into the Iona locker room, but he flipped it to Matt. Here's Matt with it, a whistle and a travel is called against Matt Scott and Niagara will turn it back over to Iona. 13th turnover of the ball game on the purple and white. Matt can't believe it, that ever present smile as he pleads his case to John Garbinski. But now he's gotta play defense, Niagara back in the 2-3 zone. Dukes and Barton up top, Dominic Robb on the baseline, flanked by Prochet on his right and Scott on his left. Kazmir a three is good. Cedric Kazmir with his first three-pointer of the game. He has six, and Iona out by three, 83-80. 3.20 left in the first overtime. Here's Chris Barton with it. Barton flips it to Matt. Here's Matt Scott with it, going left wing. All the way to the basket, finger roll, yes! Matt Scott now with 17 in the ball game. Purple Eagles down by one. Three minutes left in overtime. Griffin with it, back to McGill in the corner, much, fakes the three, all the way to the basket, up and under move is good around the shot block attempt of Dominic Robb. Much with 13 in the game, 11 here in the second half. Dukes in the corner to Barton. Niagara down three, 85-82. Barton dribbles away from the double team. Oh, there's a mismatch down low. Chris spins in the paint, up and under move, what a beauty, no good. Then Dom cleans it up and lays it in. Maybe Chris will tell you that was a pass, but Dominic Robb able to pick it up and lay it in. Niagara back to within one. 2.24 left. Overtime at the Gallagher Center. Griffin now to Much. Deshaun Much on the left hand bounce. Now to Kazmir. 15 to shoot. Kazmir flips it to Crawford. Crawford to the basket. Shot is good and the blocking foul is called on Matt Scott. EJ Crawford with his first field goal of this second half. Matt tried to draw the charge. He didn't get the call, and that is four on Matt. 
and the lead is three and a chance to make it a two possession game. First trip to the line for EJ Crawford who is seventh in the conference from the stripe. EJ 78%. The delay while they dry off the court. Now we're ready to go. EJ Crawford receives the basketball on the left-handed sophomore. Flick of the wrist, it's on the way and it's good. He swished that one in, he knew it all along. So back to a two possession game, 88-84, 2.05 left. Here's Matt Scott with it. Into the front court on the right hand bounce. In the corner to Dukes, Khalil an open three. Around and out, no good. Rebound knocked out of bounds off of Griffin, so it will be Niagara ball. Great look at three there by Khalil Dukes. But Khalil now 0 for 7 from three-point range tonight. That one was halfway down, but it didn't stay there. Barton with it now. Inside of two minutes, fresh clock for the Purple Eagles. Dukes trying to shake free of Griffin. Now he's picked up by Much. Khalil will step back, two-pointer, around and out, no good. Rebound battled for, high in the area it goes. Tap to Dom, up top. Dukes a three, no good. Offensive rebound, Prochet. Now to Barton. Here's Chris, ball fake in the corner. Dom, a 12-footer from the baseline is good. We haven't seen that shot yet this year. A 12-footer along the right baseline for Dominic Robb. 85 seconds left, Niagara within two. Griffin to McGill, Iona 88, Niagara 86. Crowd coming to life. 15 to shoot, right wing. Kazmir fakes the three, into the paint he goes. Whips it to Griffin, his three. Around and out, no good. Rebound much and a foul on Niagara's Marvin Prochet and that'll be five on Marv. That is the call. Marvin Prochet fouls out. Well now decision time for Niagara's head coach Chris Casey because everyone he looks at on the bench has not been in this ball game in quite some time. A minute five left, Marr fouls out with 16 points. Well, he gets a great hand here from this crowd tonight. Now for the Purple Eagles, Khalif Tate has joined the meeting around Niagara's head coach, so Khalif Tate will check in. Two shots upcoming for Much, who elevated first. He was first off the floor to get that rebound. And if he knocks them both in, it'll be back to a two possession game. Much three for three from the stripe today. Well, here we go. Iona's Ricky McGill was generous at the end of regulation by misfiring on a one and one. Here's Much with a two point lead. The first of two on the way is swished in. He's four for four now from the line. What a second half for Deshaun Much. 12 second half points. He stares at the rim, couple of quick dribbles. The release, and it's good again. 90 to 86, backcourt pressure by the Gales. Folks, we have exactly 60 seconds left. Khalif Tate with it now to Barton. Barton to Dukes. You got to figure this is going to be either Dukes or Matt Scott. Here's Khalil. Keeps the dribble alive. Pass to Dom. Goes up. No good, but it got knocked out of bounds. Knocked out of bounds. Never got the shot up towards the rack. Good interior defense there and the quick hands by the Gales. 16 on the shot clock. 51 on the game clock. 90 to 86, Iona. Matt, high arcing pass to Dominic Robb. Now to Barton. Chris Barton tried to get it to Matt. Now we'll back out the dribble. Good overplay defense by Iona. Now they'll get it to Matt. Six to shoot. Here's Matt. Hesitation move, taking Griffin down low. Fadeaway jumper, no good. And the rebound, Iona. Iona's EJ Crawford has it. Niagara will have to give the foul with 32 seconds left. The foul is on Niagara's Dominic Robin. That's four on Dom. Again, the shot clock was dwindling. And Niagara's Matt Scott had to take an off balance fadeaway jumper. 32.3 seconds left. E.J. Crawford will shoot two. They're in the double bonus. Both sides in the double bonus. E.J. one for one. He had a big three-point play earlier in this overtime. He knocks in the free throw. Ten points for E.J. Crawford. And a big win over the Yale Bulldogs. E.J. exploded for a career-high 24. 
He will have another. It's on the way, and it's good. A six-point lead now, 92-86. 30 seconds left. Now you're really going to have to pull one out of the hat here. Dukes with it. Khalil going to go all the way to the basket. Finger roll is good. Bucket by Khalil and a timeout called by Niagara with 24.6 seconds left. No indication yet if it's a 30-second timeout or a full timeout. And just a 30-second timeout. James Towns taps the scorer's table. He will check in, as will Kevin Larkin. 92-88. The thinking being there that Niagara will put in players not in foul trouble, so if they don't get the steal, Niagara will commit the fighter Bronx providing the opposition. On the out-of-town scoreboard from Columbus, Ohio, the Niagara hockey team taking on the Buckeyes of Ohio State late in the third period against the top ten Buckeyes. That game is knotted at two. Two apiece late in the third. Coach Jason Lammers Club having a good first semester. Well, here we go. Niagara, if they can't get the steal, they, we expect them to foul right away. Inbounds play. Towns offers the foul on Ricky McGill. 23.8 seconds left. That didn't take long. Well, we mentioned it at the top that if it turns into a free throw shooting contest, Iona is the top free throw shooting team in the league, and they're hitting 77% tonight. Just a little bit better than their average. Ricky McGill will shoot two. 92 to 88, 23.8 seconds left. Dominic Robin, Matt Scott at the scorer's table. They'll check in after the first free throw, and it's swished in by McGill. Well, Niagara giving every ounce of energy they have here tonight. They storm back from a 17-point deficit early in the second half to tie it at 78 and force these extra five minutes. 93-88, Iona. McGill's second free throw is airborne, and that one is good. Rattled around and then dropped through. Niagara rolls the ball in. Here's Dukes with it, down by six. Khalil in the paint, runner on the way. That one no good off the front rim. Rebound, battle for. Iona's got it now. McGill with 15 seconds left, and the foul is offered by Chris Barton. And a six-point lead, and one more free throw will be the final nail here in this one. McGill's last four points have come from the stripe. And it certainly seemed as though, even down by six, that Niagara was going to take it down low. And a two-pointer would have just kept it a two-possession game. McGill's free throw is good. Well, Ricky McGill, a quiet first half with just four points, but 11 since the break. He has surpassed his average. Another free throw upcoming. It is all bookkeeping now. Free throw stays down. Iona by eight, 96-88. 13 seconds left. Here's Khalil. He'll step back three on the way. That one around and out, no good. Dom with the rebound. Stick back good, 96-90. 7.2 left, and the foul offered right away by Dominic Robb, and that's five on Dom after the inbounds play to Roland Griffin. So Griffin will walk the length of the floor and... He will shoot two end of the night for Dominic Robb. Ten points, including eight late here in this second half in overtime. Purple Eagles are going to fall to 0-1 in conference play. Iona will win their first conference game. Iona and Ryder switch venues. Iona will head to take on Canisius Sunday afternoon. James Towns checks in as Dominic Robb sits back in his chair. Boy, these players on both sides, they don't have much left in the tank. 96-90, 6.7 seconds left. Iona's rolling Griffin at the line. Free throw on the way. That one is good. Again, the free throw just grazes the front rim, but the perfect rotation gets it done for Griffin. A season-high 19 points in this game. He had 12 in the first half. Second one on the way, another made free throw. 19 free throws in the second half in overtime. Here's Matt with a late three that swishes in. 
with .5 left to make it 98-93. The inbound, and there goes the horn, and this one is over. Boy, what a game this was. Iona 98 and Niagara 93 as the Gales win.